In this video, I show you how you can use drag and drop to make a movable caption. Okay, let's get started here. So, I've uh, I saw this on the forums. There was someone asking about uh, using the functionality of drag and drop to create a movable caption. So I thought I'd try that out to see if it was possible. And I'm going to start off by doing a responsive project. We're going to create that. Let's give that a moment to generate what it needs there. And I'm just going to do this real simple. I don't entirely understand uh, why this would be used, but just wanted to see if it was possible. So my thinking is that you're going to need, like with any drag and drop um, interaction, at least two items. So let's start off by making the first item, which will be um, maybe like a post-it note. We'll uh, make it look something like that, a square object, and uh, or rectangular rather. We'll choose a color that makes it uh, reminiscent. Ooh, a little too bright yellow for me. Let's go. No, don't like that either. I guess that's okay. And uh, solid object there. And let's just add some text to that. Um, here is some important information that I want to share with you. And you can set that up to look however you want. That's kind of ugly. I'm going to make it uh, some black text here. That looks a little bit better. And let's just... Uh, left justify it at the top and we'll put some nice big margins on it so that it's in the middle of the note there. So um, something like that. And uh, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm just going to hit control D to duplicate that. And I'm just going to move this temporarily over there. I'm going to first of all get rid of the text because I won't need that. And I'm going to change the, the, the style of this particular copy of it. First of all, we're going to make the opacity zero so that it's essentially transparent. It is transparent. And we're going to make the width of the stroke zero. So while you can still kind of see the shape there, um, it won't show up to the users. So now I'm going to actually use the insert drop down menu and launch the drag and drop interaction wizard here and this uh, is pretty straightforward here it's going to add a submit button but i'm going to do something with that after uh, we'll hit uh, first of all select the uh, the drag source hit next the drag or the drop target and then next and then just uh, identify the relationship between the two one to one and hit finish. So now I have everything that a normal drag and drop question slide, but I don't need a lot of that stuff. So the very first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at this here. We're going to look at the um, uh, the actions here. So on success, no action. On failure, no action. Number of intense uh, attempts, infinite. We're going to get rid of the failure and the success caption because we just don't need them here. Uh, no reset required and you know pause after 1.5 seconds this is going to be normal for any slide you're going to probably want to pause it and obviously you're going to have to add some additional navigation controls or whatever content is going to go on this slide as well uh, I don't want to auto submit the correct answer I don't want undo or reset buttons and I certainly don't want to use this or include it in the quiz um, you can keep the hand cursor. I want to uncheck send drag sources to original position because, again, the whole point is for users to be able to move this caption to anywhere on the screen, um, you know, out of their way uh, so that uh, we'll just uncheck that there. And under formatting, no effects required. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Now the two things I need to get off of my stage is the submit button because we don't actually need it. So you uh, still want it there because it's uh, f it's functional functionality is required. But just drag it off into the scrap area here, and then its functionality is limited from the user. 
And then obviously the, the drop target, uh, we don't want that accessible either. So we're just gonna drag that off the stage. So that's pretty much it. I mean, all this other stuff really doesn't matter here. Uh, let's just do a preview of this project and see what that looks like. So we'll just bring that screen over here. Here's my preview. There's my little caption and I can move it anywhere on the screen that I wish. And of course I would use the, the normal navigation controls to move forward with my course, or uh, certainly you could add uh, a next and back button. And maybe there's some content on the screen here. Perhaps there's uh, some further animation. The only thing you wanna keep in mind is that the pause for this drag and drop functionality is going to occur at a certain point. So any kind of other animation or effects that you're gonna use on this slide, should occur before that happens. So you either push it out later or uh, just make sure that it occurs before. But uh, definitely this is possible. It's not what the drag and drop is uh, originally intended for, but uh, you know you certainly can use it that way. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.